Hey, what's up? I need to address the elephant in the room. And that is these glasses because I totally minimalized them like a month ago, two months ago. Well, I don't know when it was. Um, here's what happened. I, this is the only thing I've like grabbed back that I minimalized. And I had them in a garage sale and people were looking at them and I was like, I'm not ready yet. So I grabbed them back out of the garage sale and they're on my face now. Um, and that's because I went to the eye doctor and I was thinking I was going to get um, like a real pair of prescription glasses because I actually have been wearing glasses since first grade. So it's been a while. Um, but I realized the eye appointment itself just to get my prescription checked was $120 and I was like, I can't even afford to get new glasses so I'm not. Plus my prescription didn't change that much so I'll just, I have like a, two pairs of ugly glasses from a long time ago that I can wear if I feel like my eyes are like getting blurry when I'm reading or whatever. So they are back on my face but that's not what the video is about. I just needed to address it with you guys because I know a lot of you hate them. Um, but I like them, so I kept them. Okay, anyways, this is a Target haul, an activewear haul. I haven't seen a lot of people actually doing Target activewear hauls, and I feel like it's because it's not that good. I've seen Leanne do it, and she is not even like an active like influencer. She's like beauty, and I love her so much, um, and a lot of like fashion videos, and she loved this, especially Joy Lab. So like. I went in having better expectations. Like I didn't go in thinking I wouldn't like it. I went in thinking I would love this stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go through and tell you why I liked it or why I didn't like it. So, and I have prices. I got everything on sale because it was like a 4th of July sale. Yes, yeah, so I've had this for like a month now. Um, the first, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two things out of the way because I couldn't get them on my body. Um, and they are, the Joy Lab Mid Rise Legging and Seamless. Um, actually, they said high rise, which is weird on the site. So I'm not. Yeah, on the site it says women's high waist seamless crop leggings, but on the actual legging, the tag says it's mid rise. It's definitely high rise. So I got a small in the black and a medium in this like reddish coral color. This is called the Goji Berry. That's because they didn't have any swells in this. I was thinking for sure I'd be a small. Okay, I could not get the mediums over my bum. Like they would not stretch. Like these are not stretchy pants. Like the waist is so stretchy. But like when it comes to the actual leg, like it will only stretch a tiny bit. And I got bigger thighs, okay? So it did not wanna go over my body. Which is so weird because like if I'm like, like I put this on and I got it up to my waist, but like the legs would not go up. Like they were just, this is, it's not a four way stretch. It's literally like, it barely stretches either way. It's so weird. Cause these could be so good if they actually stretched. So I would highly suggest you stay away from these leggings. They are not any good. Um, and they were $25 with the coupon. So pretty good prices. Um, and I will say Joy Lab has like the cutest looking stuff. But these were a disappointment for sure. I thought they were gonna be like the Gymshark Energies um, or just like the seamless like leggings in general and they were not. Okay, the next thing I got, I've been wanting to get a pair or I've been wanting to find a pair of high-waisted shorts that I like that don't show like my booty under them. And when I first put these on, they were like a really good length on me and they fit really well. The issue that I have with these is I had them on for maybe like five minutes and the material is so like, I think it's like 99% cotton is what it feels like. It just started stretching and rising up more and more as I had them on. And it ended up with like my booty showing in the end. So as much as like I thought I wanted to keep them because I think they're very flattering. They have like, they do have a band at the top but I got mediums because I didn't know, I wanted it to be longer. And the mediums fit me really well like in my waist and hip area and didn't like cut in at all but they were short so if, if you like a pair of short shorts I would maybe suggest these but they aren't um, gonna be compression whatsoever they are going to stretch out I mean it's just a bad material to have on them um, they're called the freedom short the women's freedom high-waisted boy shorts by champion um, and they were only $16.99 but I am going to be returning those as well this isn't technically active wear it's just this little dino 
tank. I thought it was adorable and it was like a suggestion for me and I was like, I'll take that suggestion. And uh, I got a medium thinking, cause I like things oversized. I don't want them like fitted. And this wasn't even supposed to be a fitted shirt in general, but I put it on and it was tight in my chest and like back area. It was so weird. Like I don't have any boobs, but it was tight up here and it's a medium. So like, I think if I wanted this, I'd have to get a large in it to feel comfortable. I mean, like, I think it looks fine. Like, I don't think it looks like, it, it looks tight, I will tell you that. It doesn't look bad. It's just, it's not comfortable for me. I don't like when things are tight on me unless I like, I specifically want it to be tight, which is never. And that was the Women's Dinosaur Print Tank by Zoe and Liv, and it's like the juniors, and it was $12.99, so super cheap. Um, I would size up. I don't know, I think I have just like broader shoulders and just like a bigger, like I think I hold weight in my back. I don't know, that or just like, working out it just has gotten bigger but I don't sometimes things just don't fit me up here and that was one of them another pair of leggings this is by joy lab again I guess I got all my leggings in joy lab they were just the cutest um these are so adorable they're navy blue and like the bottom of the calves have this like floral like Hawaiian print and they also have like mesh on it um this is the women's floral print mesh legging size small for $29.74, so a little more expensive. And again, these are all sale prices. They were like 30 something, 38 ish, probably before the sale happened. Uh, I did, I liked these. These were, were squat proof. I will give it that. Like, that was, I wasn't expecting it because the material doesn't feel like it would be squat proof, but it was. Um, the only thing I didn't like about these are one, they just didn't fit right on my body. I felt like I was just like squeezed into it. It didn't feel like I would wanna do a workout in them. It was like, I would wear these casually, but it wouldn't be comfortable wearing in the gym doing a bunch of like compound movements. Um, it does have like a band at the waist. I wish they were seamless. At this point, I feel like all leggings like, should just be seamless because they know how to make them. They just, for some reason, aren't. Maybe like if you're a runner, I think maybe it's because running, like you probably would want a band there just to keep it up. Cause I know some of my seamless when I'm like doing cardio, they will just fall down and it drives me crazy. So maybe it's just like, just super helpful for some people. But yeah, I guess if you're looking, um, I guess at that point it's still $30 and there are $30 leggings out there that are much nicer. This is just a cute print. If you love the print, I would say get it. But if you have like kind of a body shape like me where you have a little more like muscular legs, I would probably stay away from that one. They just aren't comfy. Another Joy Lab purchase is this. It kind of reminded me of Austin Powers. I don't know if you guys got that vibe from like looking at this, but it totally did. And that's why I purchased it. I was like, I want to try this. Um, it's just like the sequiny, sparkly tight. Um, these fit kind of the same as like the navy ones. They just didn't feel, they weren't like, none of them were super stretchy and like comfortable. Um, which is like definitely what I'm looking for in a legging. These are the high rise seventh eighth shine leggings um, in sangria red, size small. And I bought these for $35. So I don't know if they were on sale or not. Apparently not. Squat proof again, they did really well. I did I just wasn't expecting that because a lot of companies don't get the squat proof part. I got the matching sports bra as well. This was $19.99 and it is in a size medium. I get mediums and sports bras. Um, it felt pretty good. I think that it was a tiny bit tight and like the band like isn't super stretchy, which I guess you wouldn't want it to be very stretchy, but I felt like it was almost like stiffer to where I think a large would be too big, but the medium wasn't like super comfy either. I just realized the prices on my like Target page are the pre-sale. So like they were cheaper than what I'm telling you right now. Um, this is what they are regularly. I have deodorant on these. I'm gonna have to clean that up with a baby wipe before I return this. I love this tank. Okay, this is something like I really love. This is the women's V-neck tank with shine strap and a size medium color is walnut beige and it's $16.99, so I probably got it for like $14. It's just like a nude tank top. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I have a couple tank tops that in my workout stash are getting like super, super gross. So I'll probably just get rid of one of those or two of them and then add this to my collection because this will go with like all of my leggings. It's just a very neutral color and I thought it was super flattering and I just really liked it. So I am keeping that. And then um, 
very last thing which is not active wear are these sandals I realized after I bought them so I have gotten rid of all of my like brown sandals because I just like I don't know I minimalized them I didn't love them I was like I don't need them um and I bought these and I realized I had the exact same pair from American Eagle and I minimalized them because like I had totally ruined the like front of it I just scuffed it all up and these are a very like like a cheaper feeling version they feel more like rubber than anything they're definitely not like real leather which I wouldn't want that anyways um and the right universal thread and I don't know how much they were I guess I can check that because it's right here $15.99 and I think I got them 20% off so oh I got the wrong size I'm a size nine and apparently I got an eight and a half I don't know for sure if I'm going to keep these or not. I think I'm going to try them on at the end of the video and see. I just, a leather pair of sandals is something like I've always like worn in my collection, but I've been without them now for the whole summer and I haven't like really stressed out about it. Like I've worn other sandals. It might not have looked the best with the outfit, but it wasn't like terrible. So I don't, I think I might end up just returning these. I don't know. We'll see. I'll update you in another video, but that was my Target activewear haul. Um, wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. There's definitely way better options out there in the world, like FlexFit, Gymshark, um, obviously Lululemon, but that's not like price comparable. Um, but my suggestion for you guys is instead of Target, go to TJ Maxx. Like when I was doing my weight loss journey and like actively like losing weight and like going down in sizes and I wouldn't want to invest in a nice pair, I would just go to TJ Maxx um, or Marshalls and pick up some like $12.99 leggings and I loved their leggings like they were great especially if you don't want to spend very much and you know you're not going to like it's not a piece you want to invest in because you're probably not going to stay in it very long that would be my top suggestion for you because they have like seamless leggings that are really nice so I would check that out I gotta go though I love you have a good day goodbye